and Instagram.
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome everybody who is watching us right now. I am honestly super, super excited to be here. Hello, hello, YouTube. Hello, Instagram. Hello, everybody. Let me just make you Instagram people. You can see the whole thing right now. This is a first. This is a first of the Magic on Society. If you don't know who we are today, we're going to be talking a lot about it. But we have a special guest. We have some special questions for him. We have some amazing magic that's going to be shown today by our amazing guest. But we're also trying something completely new, which we're streaming not only to you guys in YouTube, but we're also streaming to Instagram. Now, Jen just wrote on YouTube saying the audio. I really hope the audio is okay. Very, very hope so, because this is something brand new. We're going on Instagram and YouTube. And those on Instagram, please let us know if you're here. We've got someone on Instagram. Hello, Instagram people. So this is a super interactive event where you can literally interact on Instagram or YouTube. But on YouTube, you'll probably have a way better experience. You'll have a better image. You'll have everything will just be much better. I'm super happy the audio is much better. It's a bit crackly. I don't know why. I hope it's not too crackly. But uh, hopefully we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I am Alon, and welcome to our first ever Q&A, ever. And like I said, we're doing this multi-platform, I really hope you enjoy that intro. As you saw, there's quite a lot of countries, everybody from all around the world joining us today. I think, I'm, I'm not checking the numbers right now, but yeah, we've got just under 15 people watching live. This event took two months to plan. I mean, two months to get our guest two months to make all the tech, two months to make everything. And uh, it took a long time. So sharing this event would mean so, so much to us. Also, if you're new to this channel, I'm just going to say straight up to anyone who might be just watching uh, afterwards, please do hit that subscribe button and like it and share it and do as much as you can because it truly supports us and helps us grow as a community. Um, I'll mention more information about our community, but you can check more information in the link in the description and also this link and you can join us there, but more information about that later. But, uh, if you're excited to see, uh, our guest, please write in the chat right now. Yes or no. And if this works, hopefully this works because now it's going to work on YouTube, right? Yes or no. Share it to anybody, magician friends or non-magician friends. This is an amazing question. If you know Killian already, if you know who our guest is, have you heard of them? Have you seen them before? Right. Currently, 100% of you say yes. So that's pretty damn amazing. That's pretty damn cool. Awesome. So I'm really glad to hear that. That was just a little question. Um, 
I'm also introduced here uh, with, other than Killian, I'll show you later because if I show everybody else in our Zoom call right now, uh, you will see Killian. Uh, but we've also got our amazing community managers here, Tom and Joseph. Uh, no one else on Zoom, Tom, and I told you. See, people aren't watching on other socials. Uh, but you're able to join us here on Zoom. Uh, it says I'm frozen on Instagram. I really hope not. If not, uh, Instagram people, just move to YouTube. It's the best platform ever. Uh, met him at BMC 2024. Killian is one of the coolest people. Welcome, everybody, from YouTube. Tom, that's funny. He's on YouTube now. Um, anyways, guys, like I said, welcome to our amazing Q&A. Please write in the chat. It's interactive. As you see, by the way, right below here, you're probably seeing performed in schools. Who's that? Alon performing in schools all over Ireland? No. It's the amazing Killian. Our guest, as you'll see, I'm going to leave this over for just a little bit. This is all of his achievements. Uh, well, not all. Just, just a few of his achievements. He's achieved so much more. He's literally probably the most talented kid, magician or kid I know at all. This guy has achieved so much. He he makes me uh, feel more inspired every single day. Guys, I cannot believe I'm doing this. But I'd like to introduce you to the man, the legend. Well, the kid, the legend. Killian O'Connor. Welcome, buddy. Hello. How are you doing? Doing very well. How are you all? Well? I'm doing absolutely amazing. Uh, can you guys hear Killian? Please write it in the chat because this is something new again we're doing onto social medias. Hopefully, you can hear what I'm hearing. <laughs> Hopefully not. If not, then uh, I have no idea how I'm going to fix that. Uh, make him louder. Actually, I don't think I can. Try and make your audio louder. Uh, Killian, speak. Say something. Hello. Say something. Say say like a random sentence. The quick journal frocks jumps over 13 lazy dogs. Yeah, okay. I, 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 think, I think we're fine. <laughs> Hopefully. Um... I just muted something. I had Instagram in the background. Anyways, can you guys hear? I cannot hear him much. Oh my God. Oh no. And we have 20 people watching. So that's a good number. Um, Maybe if I move my mic closer to you, but if, if that's how they're hearing you, that's going to be absolutely horrible. Um, can you say something one more time? This is why we do. You guys can hear him, right? You guys can hear him? Okay. If you need to, okay. Anyways, hopefully you guys can hear him. Uh, but Killian, how are you doing? I are you excited? Because we spent so long preparing this, and it's such an honor having you here joining us today. Yeah, I'm really excited for it. Uh, I've been wanting this for a while as well. So thank you, Alan. Thank you, Tomer, and thank you, Joseph. And there they are, by the way, waves for us, Tomer and Joseph. Uh, so you guys, absolutely know who Killian is. And if you don't, again, I highly recommend you check his stuff out. But hopefully today we'll kind of give you more insight into him on um, kind of more about his like everything, really. We're going to talk about lots of stuff. I myself don't really know. It's going to be kind of more of a, we've got questions that I've prepared, questions that hopefully you guys will ask live today. Uh, and I do ask, uh, if you've got a question, don't write it just yet. I, I'll start with a few of my pre-made questions. And then I want you guys to start interactive in the chat because do let us know and hopefully everything is going to be great. He's loud enough on YouTube. That's that's good to hear. Uh, thank you for that feedback. Um, but if you guys are excited, just cautiously with time, we're just going to start and dive straight right into this. So Killian, you have done quite a lot. And obviously you've been in magic for a long time. Now, before I ask you kind of just like your general magic background, Originally, I have I have the kind of the basic general question, right? How did you first discover magic? Like, what was the thing? Like, what made you get into magic? Because without magic, I don't even know if we know each other. And I guess so many people know you for being this absolutely amazing kid magician. So tell us about that a little bit. Well, there's two ways I can answer this. The first one is back in 2017. Uh, no, 2016, actually. Okay. My, my uncle Desi, he showed me this magic trick. And a lot of you probably know what this one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, that's when I first discovered magic. But when I first, like, really discovered magic would have been in 2017 when I was watching Bruce Scott Hall myself. Yeah. And seeing as he sinks and make it all the way to the place. That would have been, she would have been my inspiration. 
and that inspired me to do everything I've done up to this point, uh, including GT. So that's how I first discovered magic. I, I, I genuinely love that. And by the way, I'm just going to say to Tom and Joseph who are here with us, uh, you guys also feel free to jump in if you ever want to. Uh, I will just, since it's just us, I'll make you guys quickly co-host. Uh, this is our first Q&A, guys. So we learned from these uh, little tech things, even though it took me a long time. Uh, and then you guys can unmute yourself whenever you want and just jump in and ask anything. But uh, no, Killian, that's, that's absolutely amazing. And I know Izzy had quite a lot of... Uh, impact on so many magicians coming into magic especially the younger magicians obviously who have seen uh izzy and then there's you who is absolutely doing everything amazing everything like your online presence and then you've got your kind of digital presence like on tv and all the stuff you've done online it really blows my mind it really 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 does so you're absolutely uh amazing we've got a few questions like starting to start in here in the chat uh i think we can do kind of that i can alternate between questions in the uh chat and then alternate questions that i have for you uh if i see a question that i don't already have and i think this is kind of a nice short question that you can ask uh someone on instagram wrote what is your favorite magic trick by rt.zeit uh just in general uh i guess that could be a fun one my favorite magic trick um well i i love the carrot tricks. Uh, That's great. The slice of hands. It's, it blows my mind what you can do with yeah. just 50 of carrots. Yeah. Uh, or magic, I also like. But my favorite magic trick, just in general, um, or maybe let's rephrase it into because that's a difficult question honestly i think many magicians find that like that is like the most difficult question for any magician in the world i don't think i can answer that more into and i think it's kind of difficult especially like when lots of people see you on tv you associate yourself okay so i've seen you do so much stage magic but i personally i've i've met you in real life just recently what three weeks ago two weeks ago now and you you can obviously do like close amount so Kind of what for you personally? Do you think what type of magic is it? Are you, do you like doing mentalist tricks? I uh, you mentioned cards. Do you think card magic is something really special? Do you more of a card magic? And even to go into another field, as we're already talking about it, you think close up or stage, or do you just like mixing them both together? Um, uh, since I started magic, I think I've been doing close up uh, a lot more often than I've done stage. Yes. Yeah. I would say, like, I love them. I like both of them, but I would say close up is just tough. Yeah. 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 That, that's great. That That's great. Uh, uh, Jen, you can absolutely ask your questions uh, whenever you want now. Just drop them in and I'll bring them when, when time sees fit, just like we had a question now by Artie. So uh, thank you so much, guys. And again, to those on Instagram, I recommend you join us on YouTube. Uh, the channel is here if you do not find it. Uh, and that's where we're live right now. Just where Killing is pointing. We can both point. Wait, Killing, let's high five. Oh, let's see. Can we do Wait, can I do it? Like, uh, no, like this. No, not like that. Wait, no, the other way. The other. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that looks really cool. Kind of, kind of. It's just to uh, let people take time to join. Uh, we've got some uh, people on Instagram again. You can join on YouTube. Uh, all right, that's amazing. That's really amazing to hear, uh, Killian. Oh no, that's not the one I wanted. I wanted your name. Um, awesome. The next question I have. Is kind of about a different thing. It's because I think to lots of people, and maybe to you uh, too, uh, magic helps us in not only a way of entertaining people, because magic obviously gives people a smile, it can make people happier. And there's so many aspects of magic I can personally go on forever. But it can also, for you as a magician, help you overcome things. So if I wrote this in a question, is how has magic helped you navigate and overcome challenges in your life, at school, friend, I don't know, in general, anything, if you kind of had to say that, how would you answer that question? Uh, of course. Um, one of the main reasons of my magic, uh, apart from making people smile, is to make people understand that yeah. autism is a disability, it's an ability. And, you know, 
I feel like I can promote autism, uh, be a speaker for autism awareness, uh, speak about it as much as I want, but there will always be something more I can do. To be like I was able to promote autism awareness in the past, but still I felt I could do more. And some of the challenges that I've overcome with magic would would be my autism and with the autism I would struggle to speak socially. Uh, like if I can't start magic seven eight years ago, we wouldn't be talking to each other. Not not even if I was just a magician. Yeah. Without the magic, I just won't be able to talk. Um, okay. And also, my dyspraxia, which uh, my phone knows, it's see, like, I have some good tests about it. I'll just use one as an example. Sure. I was doing the cards for Christmas and also very sweet. So, phone knows is going to be the ability to do it with your hands. So playing around with the cards and the Rubik's Cube, uh, it, that really helped with my coach skills. Also, regarding the audio situation. Uh, what? Do not see the message. Uh, oh, gosh. Hopefully, guys, let me know. Is it just Jen or not? I, I don't actually, I generally do not know what I can do with the audio. It worked in our last event we did on YouTube with audio, uh, but they say it's crackling. Like, we can hear you fine, but again, it's going to come and how it's transmitted through all my system here, which is crazy complicated. Uh, but I think they can hear you. Like, it's just not amazing quality, but they can hear you. So I guess we have to do with what we can. Again, we'll learn from this in the future, but I think they can hear you hopefully fine but again let us know uh but no that's 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 such an amazing answer and i i genuinely love how you like confidently speak about all of this uh and then it's helped you so much and like it's helped you it's helped you grow as a person and it's helped you like uh, magic right do all of these amazing stuff i guess that inspires yeah. so many people and you, it, we can look at different things like magic i guess it can you know, it give you confidence skill i know it has for me it can give you so many things and it's just that art form that is so unique and special. I don't know. It's 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 truly magical. With yeah, uh, and then we've got the audio of Killing Inside on YouTube is horrible. Uh, and then we've got a problem. Oh, oh, god. Um, I, I but then Instagram is fine. But Instagram was having problems earlier. Just guys, you know what you should do? Have your phone next to you with Instagram, and then on your laptop, YouTube, and then you just have them both. Uh, <coughs> But uh, I genuinely hope it's better. For me, it's literally showing. It tells me when Killian speaks. Killian, say something. Tim, yeah, okay. Yeah, well, you're speaking now. And it's, it's, it's showing me a green bar. I don't know. But, oh, well. Oh, well. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. Whatever. Hopefully, it's fine. It could be. It could be. It could be. It could be. I don't know. When I rewatch this, we'll be like, oh no. Uh, they might hear Killian for your mic on. Tommy says, oh, that was, I don't know if that was a private message, but whatever. Uh, you told me you might be right, uh, which would be horrible. Uh, that might be horrible. You know what? It's worth just checking this little thing now and fixing it. I'm just going to check my YouTube mic settings because maybe on Instagram it's fine. Bear with me, people. If I could put some music right now, I would. That's why I'm going to do it. There you go. Here's some music. <laughs> Which they might not even hear. Because audio... Anyways, uh, I think I fixed it. But you know what? We'll, 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 we'll try. I'm going to put my mic like literally next to my speaker like I used to do in the good old days. And uh, then we'll see. Um, anyways, this is a really nice question that someone wrote in the chat. How much do you practice in terms of hours? Oh, well, uh, it can vary, but in terms of hours, let's just say per, I, say, I don't know, per week or per day, if you want, up to you. Per, per day. Uh, I would say like, 
<laughs> I would say between half an hour to up to four hours per day. Um, wow, that's great. I can be, well, most days, like, you know, every day just massive. Yeah. Time off yeah. every now and then. Yeah. That's great. That's 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 good question. Good question. Yeah, that's that's an amazing question. Uh all right. I, another question kind of right. like I don't know how difficult this would be for you to answer. Don't worry. Uh do you, do you, okay. Oh okay, Killing's vanished guys. Uh this is such a weird Q&A. What's going on, guys? What's going on? Can you guys hear me fine? Can you guys hear me fine? Yeah, okay. People, okay. Um I was going to ask Andy's question here for Killian, what his top three favorite magicians is. And that might be objective. Uh, I'll list mine. This is a cute day for Killian, but I do not know where he is. Oh, he's back. I don't have to answer. I don't have to answer. He's here. Woo, ladies and gentlemen. Killian, you got three uh, top magicians. Done. We're done. We're not, we're not, we're not, we're not going on after. Uh, perfect. Uh, Tommy, I like your question. We'll come back to that. Uh, Jen, you got a question? Type it in. Uh, oh, Nevio's got a nice question. Who is your biggest inspiration? Ooh, that kind of actually goes into my third question, and I will actually make it a little longer here for you. What is, well, well, this is actually a BGT one, so not what I thought. But we'll get back to the inspiration one. We'll get back to the inspiration one, Nevio. Uh, but let's, I, I do want to talk because time wise, I, I just want to cover as many different questions. And the big thing we got to talk today about is BGT and AGT because they're huge parts of your life, no matter where you look at it. But like, you had to originally audition, you had to go for it, right? And you had to make a decision one day going, I want to audition for, and it started on BGT. That's where it started, right? And then it, AGT was a different thing. Because that's fantasy league, which is actually even different uh, the way it works. But with BGT, what what made you realize? And then kind of tell us about that experience. And let's focus on BGT for now because I'm sure it's a little different. Yeah. So of course it will be different with BGT and AGT. Consider an offer yeah. uh, this year and. BGT was BGT. Yeah. Uh, so the experience with BGT was, um, how do I say it? Before I had to go to the audition on the stage, um, I would have had to send in a video of my performance. Yeah. And there would have been like hundreds of thousands of people who would have sent in videos and around 5,000 of them would have gone to do auditions. Well, not thousands, I would say hundreds, but a lot, a lot. And you know, 40, no, yeah, 40 for the semi-final and then 11 in the final. So, yeah. you know, um, getting down from hundreds of thousands to thirds um to third place you know just on its own that was an, an, I don't know, an amazing experience for me it must have been of yeah. course but also the experience backstage like all uh all the competitors for the audition the semi-final and the final they were all very nice yeah like uh, as well as all the backstage workers, it was a very friendly environment. That's and good. since I'm on the topic of Britain's Got Talent, I'll talk a little bit about my experience with America's Got Talent. Sure, um, sure, sure. Of course, Britain's Got Talent, uh, the semi final and final uh, would have been live, whereas the other was pre recorded. Yeah. And with AGT, uh, all Pre um, so with AGT, instead of being inside, like instead of being in a theater, it was in a studio. So uh, the audience was it was it was very small, but um, the stage, like the stage, would have maybe been the size of this room. Really? 
Well, it's not. That's it surprising. Was, That's surprising. It was it was huge, and that, of that course, is, with wow. That's wow. and Sony, I didn't get through to the semi final, but uh, from my experience with the audience in backstage, and it was I loved both the experiences with Bray Scott Hall and America. You know, agency, uh, you know, you can relax a little bit more uh, because it's not in a, yeah, in a and um, there, there definitely wasn't as many work there. So, you know, you did all you had to do. And, but still, they were both good experiences. I, I love, I love when you say that everybody was so nice because. It's huge. I mean, like, it's such a huge, like, product. They have a lot of people behind the scenes that, like, are never shown. And they're, like, the yeah. ones who are, you know, they're getting everything ready. The cameras. They're getting the design of the whole stage. Because every act has a totally, like, crazy different, you know? Uh, you think, like, you know, magicians sometimes have crazy cool stuff on stage. But then you've got, like, other acts who have even crazier stuff. So it's, like, it's it's really nice you mentioned that. So uh, when you when you were saying I don't, I forgot what you were saying uh, earlier uh, when when you were say, saying it, but there was a moment I wanted to put confetti's but I'm just gonna do it now. There you go, confetti. Um, uh, uh, no worries. Since we're on the topic of BGT and the backstage yeah. workers, there's one backstage worker that I would like to talk about, and that is please do the magic consultant Russ Stevens because that's it. Plus, you know, he he runs the Black Magic Convention, which, you know, that just happened a week or two ago. It was, you know, just recently. Um, yeah, really recently, yeah. It's like, you know, he runs, he runs the most in magic on BGT. Yeah. Um, Richard Jones, who won BGT in 2016, is he since second place 2017. Mark Selman made it to... The semi-final Russ in Stevens. Then, then his ex, no, Mark Stone in 2017, yeah. and then X made it to second place in 2019. Uh, and then me made it to third place. So Russ, thank you. Russ is that. amazing. Like, I, like actually, well, I'll just I, I, I fix this one topic, and then I'll bring up Jen's question, which is to do with BGT and agency. But like, with, with a magic consultant and Ross Stevens for you, which is, he's just phenomenal. Uh, I don't know how he does it. Like the, the amount of work that needs to go into consulting is crazy, but how does it feel working with a consultant in, in, in like something as big as, you know, VGT? So, you know, Ross is actually the one He makes sure that the act is down to a T. Like it has, it, 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 he makes the act absolutely perfect. That's amazing. That's now, amazing. Of course, so examples I've said before Richard Jones, Izzy Simpson, Max Selman acts as well. And you. You know, he's just. <laughs> also, uh, shout out to. Guy Barris, who would work on all the, the he would design all the illusions yeah. for BGT. Yeah, he doesn't get any notice from BGT, but he absolutely should because without him, without him, you know, you won't have any of the any of the big illusions. So yeah, big shout out to Guy Barris as well. No, it's amazing. It truly is amazing that how much work goes into all of this and. You know what? We love it. I mean, you've all seen his act, guys, right? Like everybody watching. Uh, I should have been more creative and had like little clips I would have played right now, but in the future I would. Uh, but please, like, go and search like Litchie Killian O'Connor, and uh, you'll find like in the top results on YouTube, whatever. All the all the performances. Wow, it's it's some amazing stuff. And just on the kind of the last note of BGT and ADT, Jen has an amazing kind of closing question. It's just like we've already talked about that but how has that like yeah changed your life like recently like i guess like i mean vgt wasn't too long ago and now agt very not long ago 
how has that sparked? And I guess that can lead into we, us talking about your tour. Uh, but don't, if, if you want to talk about your tour, I wanted to leave that for a little later. But if we do, we can talk about it now too. Yeah. But talk, talk. Now, you know, Jen, I'm going to answer your question, but I'm not going to answer in full. And okay. I can't deny that I've had success with B to T and H T, you know. And um, my, you know, the, as you said, I have gotten a lot of recognition from it, but the success is not what I'm focused on. What I'm focused on is making the world see, making the world see things how I see them. And um, I want to, I want to show myself to as many audiences as possible, but not in a way that it's like, I'm Kenyon O'Connor, I'm a magician, watch my magic. Yeah. I do in a way where it's like, I want to promote, you know, I'm an advocate for autism awareness, and I've talked about it in the past, of course, and um, I did a TED Talk back in... Uh, yes, you did. Back in June or July, talking about my autism. And, you know, I did magic on that, but that wasn't, the magic is not the main part. Uh, the magic was not the main part of my ad, my magic act on the or HT either. The main part was I have autism and this is how I've overcome it. And this is me teaching other people to struggle with the same things. That's awesome with the same things, how to overcome it. So that's my goal, not to be, uh, not to have tons of success to promote autism. Yeah, that, that's amazing. I, yes, Guy, a TED Talk. He did a TED Talk. Uh, can you can people find out online? Yes, if you look up TEDx Ratov, Ratov spelled R-A-T-O-A-T-H. There you go. Killian O'Connor, then you'll find out online. Tom, if you could find that for me in the background, then put it in the chat, I'll put it on the screen. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I mean it. Like, I could keep, I could put this up again and you'll see TED Talk, I think, is there. Um, it's freaking amazing. Uh, but we, we don't have time for that. We don't have time for that. To search for that. But, yeah. uh, there you go. Tommy it, put link. Oh, that was quick. That was really quick. That was really quick. Uh, Take an image of it, guys, uh, or come back to it because it's a visual thing. You can type it in. Uh, or Tom will paste it also. Or paste it onto the YouTube chat. Right? Maybe people will put that there. Uh, awesome. That's amazing. I'm going to go to the next question I have. And if I miss someone's question, uh, it's either because I've pinned it for a later moment or rewrite it in the chat, please, for me. Uh, I'm just looking through my questions. I actually have a question that Tom, that I have, but Tom wrote it too. So uh, I'm going to bring Tom version of that question because I think his is better. My question was originally, I'm just going to say both of them, is can you tell us about your creative process when choosing your own tricks and routines? See, Tom, we have the same mindset. It's crazy. And then Tom said, after learning hundreds of routines, which you must have, uh, do you have some kind of system to remember how to perform all of them? Later, you can easily come back to one of your older routines. And let's take this into a close-up or state setting up to you because they're completely different when you choose what you want to do. Do you understand the question? Yeah. So, of course, uh, there's been a ton of routines that I've worked on. Uh, for the audition, it was what I like to call the jelly bean routine because, of course, the general yeah. jelly beans. Uh, some people might refer to it as 2500. I know. Uh, but that routine, there's also the semi-final where, you know, confetti burst. Yeah. Also, the final, that's confetti burst and addition. Mm -hmm. uh, but, of course, if you were to watch the TED Talk right now, you would see the magic that I do. And that routine, I like to call it Rayman routine because... It centers around Rain Man. Love that. The main, the main part of all the routines is my autism. Like, I call it the jelly bean routine because, you know, that's the main magic in it, not the main part of the entire routine as a whole. 
So if I like, I would remember. Uh, I would remember the scripts and how to perform them in my head. So that if I need to come back to them, like I could watch over the videos and then you know I'd have a good understanding of how to do it again. So. That's great. Uh, also, my agency fantasy routine would be another one. That, no, that that's amazing. Talk about it. Hopefully, that answers your question. Brilliant. Um, Joseph put in a question which I also have, uh, and I think that's towards the end. We'll do that, Joseph, because uh, that's a nice closing question. But like, since we're talking about even like even the stage genre, let's talk about in general. Magicians have a problem, especially those that start out in magic. And, I don't know if you had this uh, when you started out, but I literally think 90% of magicians do. Uh, the question is, how do you handle nerves or stage fright before performing, especially in high pressure situations like talent competitions? Because I mentioned stage just earlier, because on stage, when you've got like, remind me by the way, how many people were watching BGT live? Or like, how many people were in the audience? Uh, in the audience, I think it was actually 2,500. Uh, just 2,500. Not, not, you know, nothing massive. Just, just like, you know, a lot of people watching you. Uh, and, uh, Wait, no, 4,000. So, sorry, sorry. Four, yeah, 4,000. It was a pretty big audience, right? How do you handle it? Because you come out, right? And you see 4,000 people, which is a lot. Like, that's a lot of people. Yeah. How do you handle it? And I think this could be advice for any any magician or any genre when you talk to like people as a public speaker. Go ahead. Right. So if you were to watch back my BGT audition, you would see all through the audition. Yeah. I was very nervous. Uh, at the steps walking down, I was very nervous. I was taking deep breaths like the whole thing. While I was at the judge's desk, you couldn't see it on the camera, but my legs were my legs were shaking while I was spraying out the carrots. Oh, wow. And, well, I feel that over time, if you keep doing it again and again, yeah. uh, like, you know, you can, it just becomes second nature. And you don't have that, you don't have the nerves anymore. Uh, before the semi final and final, uh, when I was backstage, ready to go out, uh, I was nervous because, you know, this is life. But I was able to hide those nerves when I was uh, going through the performance. That's and, um, there's something else I was going to say there. Um, oh, what was it? Um, no worries. Right. Yeah. So when I was. When I was performing in the audition, I was I was focused on only doing what I had to do. I wasn't focused on the audience That's during good. any of them. Of course, I knew the audience was there, but that that's not what I was focused on. Uh, of course, afterwards, when I got the stand ovation, and um, you know, I cried because. I had just gone to standing ovation and everything had gone well. You know, like the nerves. It was half nerves, half like I was going to start crying on stage, but I was able to hold it in all the way until the end. And I think, you know, it was a great moment to see. And I'm not saying. Like that crime was real. I'm just saying, being able to go through the entire audition uh, while having goosebumps and doing it as planned, um, I think that's what made me cry. That's so beautiful. That's such an amazing message. I, I, I'm actually in shock. That answer was perfect. Because some people have, you know, you hear, you know, this question that I just asked is such a common question to people, but you hear people always answer with these methods. Some people have their own methods, you know, like, oh, I imagine the audience isn't there or these weird methods. And I, you know, everybody's got their own method. 
Okay, everyone's got their own kind of comp, uh, coping system to these sort of things. It's important that you do. Everyone's different. But I think what you said, and kind of if I yeah, kind of recap to anybody who was watching your tip about kind of just doing it, going for it. And sometimes that's hard, but sometimes you need to just push yourself once and it's just going to stick with you. It's like when you push it, you do that one big thing and then you know next time you've already done it. So what what's the worst that could happen at this point? You've already done the first stage. You've already overcome that. It doesn't mean you've overcome being afraid of any, you know, I still get stage right? And I've done it a hundred times or something performing. I mean, not 4,000 people, not at all. Please, geez, that's a lot of people, but you're amazing, Killian. And that's, that, it's truly is. So uh, just for fun, I'm just going to put some fireworks. Here. Celebrate. Killian's performance on uh, everywhere, everywhere. Um, someone says hi. Uh, they spell your name wrong, but it's fine. <laughs> um, I think this is a nice like question away. Uh, this is like a different question, my guy. Well, I think it's a quick question. Have you <laughs> spoken to Wayne Thompson before, or after your Dallas performance with Um. Actually. I was spoken to him at, you know, being in police before that, but um, there wouldn't have been, we wouldn't have had that many interactions. But, you know, um, before uh, before going on to do our parts at the, at the gala show, at the, at the earliest, uh, latest Black Women's Convention, it was... Really a lot of fun. We hung out, we talked. That's amazing. Uh, you know, we joked with each other. It was a really good experience. And I feel like um, the theme was the passing of a torch from Wayne Dobson to me. And, you know, I really think that day I made a connection with Wayne Dobson. And That's beautiful. it was very nice seeing him. And I'll say this. Um, before the gala shows, you know, Randy Crow, he's doing the shadows and yeah. the white curtain drops. As I was wheeling him out, when I stopped him, uh, looking at him, like, I was almost going to cry because, like, Paul Daniels here, he was one of the greatest magicians and, like, he still is such a great magician, but he's Sad. It was sad seeing how how it was affected by by an ass. It was very sad uh, because he was still a great man. Um, he still is a great man, I should say. Um, it was sad seeing him like that with everyone loving him because you know. Like, he was such a great magician back in the Paul Daniels era, as I said. Like, I don't know how to say it. No, no, you're, you're saying yeah. it perfectly. Yeah. No, like, we, that's, that's, that's amazing. That, that's an amazing. And I hope, Guy, you're satisfied with that answer. Uh, that, that truly is. Uh, I, and since kind of, I want to talk, I have a few other questions, but I'm going to uh, kind of drop them now because I want to, Talk about your future now, and um, like moving on yeah. from now till your future project, what you want to do, and all of these little things. And I have a few questions we can separate it into, but uh, I want to get into this fun, fun part about you touring. Now, someone wrote a question about it earlier about you and Ryland. Uh, I cannot find it now, but I, oh, I can actually. It's uh, oh. right here. What's it going to be like touring with Ryland Petty? But uh, in general. The question I have is uh, kind of this about like your future project. So let's assume I have not heard about your tour. I have no idea what tour, what tour. Uh, Killian, are there any upcoming projects that you're excited about that you'd like to share with us that you've never, you know, told anywhere else, but you have, you have, you can, you can uh, tell us about your tour because it's huge. It's something huge. I know you're super excited about it. So please do tell us about it. All right. So, I'm going to be having a tour with 
Um, my special guest ride in Petty Disney for July and August. Um, Woo! The UK and, you know, uh, I've started planning, but uh, you can check out the, you can check out the dates on my website, plenyofmagic.com. If you go there, click on the three lines, then go to four, you'll see all the dates. If you click on any of them, they'll send you to the website where uh, the fees aren't performing. There and you, you can check it out there. Uh, I know there's places like Arlington, uh, Ilkley, I'm performing at, and no, I won't say too much, but that's all I'll say for now. Ooh, just a little sneak peek there. Uh, but like, kind of into your, just to not say too much, but like with your tour, how, like the question I think the person had is how excited and how you feel about it because it's 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 pretty damn big. It's it's how many tell, just to, wait how many locations are you going to? It's only in the UK, right? UK and Ireland. There'll be there'll be fourteen locations across the two, um, in July and August. So, uh, I'm not sure of the exact dates, but uh, you can check out the link. Back yeah, the people, sh please check so, out this link. I'll send you. Yep, right there on Zoom. So you can check that out and. Uh, you'll find all the dates. No, that's amazing. Uh, it's huge. And locations. It's huge. And locations. And guys, if you're there, for yeah, July 19th to August 18th, uh, if you guys are in the UK or Ireland between those days, I am so angry I'm not. But, you know, next time I will. Uh, please go to Kim's website and get yourself tickets. It's huge. Like, you're going to see Kim performing uh, live in front of you, and your minds are going to be blown, and you're going to go like, Wow, you're just gonna be wow. Oh, Tom is actually. Oh, I wish. Uh, wait, can I actually put Tom on my screen right now? Uh, let me just. Uh, it says killing. My, there you go. You can see all the tickets right here. Uh, there you go. Look at the locations. It's absolutely stunning. Thank you, Tom, for that. Uh, killing your back. Uh, and then, kind of, since we're talking about your future, what are your thoughts on the future of magic? Like, Genuinely, because nowadays social media is blowing up, uh, which is great. I love social media. I think you do too. I think lots of magicians do. But we don't, not just even, there's social media we could talk about, but then there's just like the future of magic because magic is like getting more modernized nowadays. What do you think about that? Um, I would say... Of course, there's people coming into magic that we've seen for the first time. Yeah. Uh, I would say the most recent magician that we've seen that uh, was on was on Penn and Teller, and mm -hmm. I'm not sure of her name, but she was the youngest Penn and Teller act in history. Uh, Eleven years old. So I'm not quite sure, but also yeah. Uh, you know, magicians like Ryland Petty, like Harry, Harry Merlin Piper, and, um, you know, their fathers, Craig Petty and Rodney, uh, they would have been, they're very famous in magic right now, but I feel that, like, Ryland, Harry, there's magicians around that age that I feel could be the next generation. Of course, um, there's magicians in the Magic Island Society that could be, not could be, that will be the next generation. No, you're right. You're right. Uh, yeah. I'd actually, yeah. I literally, perfect, like, tie in to the next question is if we're talking about the next generation or people who are wanting to get into magic, do you have any advice for them? Because you had to eventually one day get into magic. All of us did. Anyone who's starting out, I'm going, Hey Killian, uh, I just I've seen you uh, on uh, on TV, and I'm like, you're 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 so cool. I want to do what you do. What what can I do, other than joining a magic on society? <laughs> so, uh, if I were to answer that question, I would say, I would say, there you go. Go on, go on. All right. <laughs> okay, okay. 
uh, I would say to join a local magic club or a local magic society, uh, somewhere down there, if you bring up the, you know, link in description, link in description. Oh, right. Yeah. Uh, it says there that, you know, I'm a member, uh, of the, of the society of Irish magicians yeah. and, and, you know, they would be my local society, but also of course, books would be a very good way to go into magic. Uh, you could also, the internet, it's a great source. There's thousands of videos on magic, tutorials, uh, videos going into depth about magic um, on YouTube. So yeah. that's also another good source. Uh, also, other magicians, I would say that would be the most popular one because you know, like other magicians, they'll learn stuff they can pass on to you that you have made. So stuff you learn, stuff they learn, you can pass it on to someone else. So I would also say, um, what do I say? A magic convention. Of course, there is the Black Magic Convention. Uh, there's the newly created London Magic Convention. There's a lot, but I would say, Framework playing into magic, those are the best ways to start out. Well, that, that's so cool that Killian just described the magic house society, and I didn't even need to pay him. <laughs> uh, no, no, in a way, we're actually uh, in was, every you know, I think, in, I think it's time no, 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 in every single way, you've actually just described. I'm like, damn, you're, you're literally saying in another way. Um, no, it's true. Uh, we, we do actually have all those features. Uh, but no, that, that's amazing advice like in general though for anybody. like You need to find yourself a group of people uh, that share the same passion and ask for their help because they know what they're doing. They can help you. Uh, and yeah, why not learn with someone who's willing to help you then spend hours, days, months, years doing it the wrong way? Um, so that that's brilliant. This is a nice question. When you're out about, uh, oh, let me lower this down. When you're out and about, how do you show some people your magic? And do some people say no? So like, just casually, uh, do you ever go like, hey, can I show you a trick? Or how do you do that? Uh, yeah, do you get rejected in magic performing? I feel that um, every magician at one point, every magician that does close up, uh, around and about uh at one point or another they've they've gone up to people asked if they want to see magic and they've said no mm. uh, that's happened to me a few times yeah. and you know i'm not ashamed to say it um but if the way i do it is i would walk up to people and i would ask do you just want to see some magic um if they do say yes, I would go and I would perform. And, you know, this is linking back to the magic help me with uh, my social skills. Before I found the magic, I would have struggled a lot. Um, I knew what to say, but I didn't know how to say it. And um, but with the magic, I've been able to improve it over time. And that's how I'm having this conversation with you yeah. right now. Uh, so I would go up to people and the tricks I would do, you know, I have a few words in my head that I need to say, um, but I'm able to talk normally. And then afterwards, if they have any questions or anything, I'm able, I'm able to, like the magic is so big, not just to talk all through magic, it's about anything. So if they were to ask me questions about the magic, like, I'd be able to answer or it might be a random question, like, what is your favorite pet and why, for example? I'd be able to talk in detail about That's amazing. Like that. like, That's a good skill. My favorite pet is a dog because uh, cats are scary. Uh, dogs aren't. Well, some dogs are. Yeah. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's such an amazing yeah. answer again. That, that truly is amazing. Um, someone's asking a question. There's just one part of the question I don't want to put up. So I'm just going to ask their question instead of putting it up uh, and cut out that little bit uh, because I don't want to get into uh, religion here. Uh, but, oh yeah, here, here's a question. 
Have you ever watched? Did you answer this movie? Yes or no? I guess. Have you ever watched Carbonara Effect? Do you know what that is? Say that. Have you seen Carbonara Effect? Uh, what's the name? Angelo Carbonara? No. What's his no, name? No, actually, I don't think I've ever seen that. I Could forgot someone, his name. Can someone put a link in the? In someone the should. I I I've seen it on social media. He's a he's, he's a great vision. But there you go. That was the question. And uh, oh, and then the second one is just saying you are a big inspiration to me. I have autism too. Thank you so much. Uh, so there you go. Uh, geez, let's see what's the next question, guys. Again, if I'm missing your question, just type them in the chat, please. I'm so sorry. Uh, oh, Thomas got a question for you. Do you? Ooh, wow. That do you have a magician? Do you have magician friends at school? If so, do you find it fun to share your routines? Obviously, you would find it fun if you did. Yeah, I feel, um, you know, like in school, um, how do I say, like most of them would be focused on school. Okay. And uh, uh, me personally, I don't have any friends at school. I don't have any school friends that are also magicians. So um, I want to share routines with them instead. I would perform magic for just my friends, uh, not just my friends in school, but anyone, most people. Um, and I, I find it more fun to be able to perform for people who don't understand magic as much as you know everyone watching here mm -hmm. and the X counts. Magicians, yeah, they don't understand that as much as magicians. Yeah, as, that's, that's a nice perspective. Like, you know, of course, person magic can never show the same trick twice. But, yeah. um, like, sometimes they could do that, and you know, they'll figure it out. But most of the time, it's you do it once and they're fooled. Like, um, and it's not and it's just yeah, no, I, I, I love that. that. That's an amazing answer. On the subject of school, uh, Joseph asked, how did it feel going to school after the BGT finals? Oh my God. I've actually wanted to ask that question for ages. Thank you, Joseph. Uh, right. Whoa. So it's, it's definitely um, something that I was saying doing the semi-finals and the final of BGT, uh, I would have gone over for the semi-finals on the last week of school of first year. So uh, it will have been for the summer break. So when I came back for the BGT finals, it would have been about three months or so. And, <laughs> you know, like the hype would have died down a bit what? when I came back. Uh, you know, some of the students would congratulate me and some of the teachers as well. But I feel, um, you know, three months from doing the final to going back, it was a lot of gap. And most people, I wouldn't say forgot about it. It's just, you know, they didn't need my info anymore because, you know, three months had passed. So, I did still get a lot of support from uh, students and teachers at my school, but uh, the hype definitely died down over those three months. That's an interesting response. Uh, and thanks for sharing that, by the way. Uh, I guess that happens. I don't know what to say, but thanks for answering Joseph's question. Um, there's a question I'm, I'm like, my finger is about to press it, but my mind says no. Killian, do I bring up the question? You're gonna it's it's a stupid question, but you know who it's from. I'm gonna answer actually before you. I'm gonna bring it up. Okay, I'll bring it up. I'll answer before you. Uh I don't I don't know. It took me a while to think about it. Like I do not know any ventriloquists with ginger hair. Oh, oh, you know that guy Gingy? He was like on uh um Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the, what's that talent show? Not Britain's Zone or America's Got Talent. Not Spain. It was France Got Talent. Gingy. The guy with oh, like yeah, the yeah, yeah. ginger hair. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think I've seen him. Yeah. Uh, Is he your favorite? Also. 
No, Paul Sherman doesn't have ginger hair. Uh, for me, it was gingy. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Gingy is good. But, gingy. Uh, <laughs> can't think of any. Yeah. Right now. I, it's a tough one. It's oh, a tough right. one. It's a tough one. That's it. Oh, fun question. I know the answer to this because I think we were talking about it earlier. Uh, but are you still good friends with Vigo? Uh, as I said, no. Uh, I've never really been able to talk to him. Especially in the final. Yeah. Um, I've kept in touch with all the action there. Um, Malachi, Amy, Olivia, especially me. Not especially, but I have kept in touch with That's him. amazing. And um, it's, it's been nice seeing how, um, how everyone that I competed against, against on the show has, um, how they've been getting on since BGT. Um, and yeah, we do we do talk from time to time, of course. Um, a lot of us would be busy now, but if we have time to talk, we do. So that's amazing. Yes, me and Vigo will still be good friends. That's amazing. We keep. I'm so happy, by the way, to say that this. Uh, after glad to hear, uh, no one's really complaining about uh, audio anymore. So we started off rough with uh, tech, which kind of happens with these things when it starts off. But I'm so happy seeing it so well. Killian, I'm going to find a really good question right now, either from the chat or from my questions. One last yeah. one. And then I want you to perform. You want me to perform? All right. I'll answer Let's do two, more two more questions. And then I'll perform your trick. Awesome. Because Killian's got something to show, guys, and I'm really excited. Uh, I actually did not cleverly think of putting – a big version of you on my screen, but oh well, I think it'll be fine like this. Uh, but uh, let me find a short question and uh, well, two short questions. Uh, <laughs> and the statement it's so wonderful to see you guys your age doing something so uh, it's just like a beautiful and uh, wonderful. You're bringing people together in a really magical way. As a teacher, I always say thank no, you. One more question, let's do one, one let's question. do one, let's do one, and not this one, not this one. They're good, you didn't see it. It was it was about ginger people again. I don't know. Someone's obsessed with ginger people here. Um, let's do a nice end question. Let's do a nice end question. Uh, and it's literally, uh, kind of to to finish off this Q and A before you perform. What is your advice? And not in magic. It doesn't have to be magic. It could be like some nice inspirational stuff to anybody who's followed you. Uh, and if you had to say like a I don't know a concluding sentence to people, what would you say right now? What advice, message, anything would you say? And you could think about that. Dog. Don't be fucking your dreams. Oh. Only you can create your story. And go the distance. That's so good. That That's genuinely brilliant. That, that, that was the most beautiful way to end that. Uh, I don't even have an emoji for that, so I'm just gonna say confetti. <laughs> um, no, that that's that's beautiful. Uh, Kille, I've been trying to find a way to bring you uh, big on my screen right now, but I genuinely cannot. So hopefully this will do. I'll take down the names, uh, but I think it'll work, right? You you find with with like this. Let me just take yeah. off these names and this. Uh, all right, too much confetti normally ends in a killing vanishing. Oh my gosh, we should do that at the end. I just, oh, we'll do. It. We we rehearsed it, remember on that call? Uh, so uh, we, we, you know, we we've oh, got it. Yeah, we 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 can do it. Uh, kill it. You go ahead. Go ahead. All right, we'll do this trick. Then we'll do the confetti vanish one more time. <laughs> no, no, what, what we'll, we'll do it. We'll do it to finish off this stream because. Uh, <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to try and find the four aces from this deck. Here's the first one, ace of cool. diamonds. Right, the second one, we'll try to find the ace of clubs. Um, Alright, so I found it. No, you didn't. Yes, you there did. There you go. <laughs> oh, no! What? <laughs> Killin, Killin just vanished. He actually vanished uh, from the uh, Zook. What? Wait, what's that? 
I don't know if that was on purpose or not at this point. Uh, I think I'm sure he'll be back. Uh, I do not know. What, I genuinely do not know what happened there. Um, that was horrible timing because he was releasing an ace. Um, to, to that, we're all just dancing to one more time right now. We're having like a little group of what the hell is going on? Um, what is going on, people? Um, Killian, come back. We're live. It's funny because I was making uh, okay. Well, oh, whatever, ginger. Okay, while, whilst we wait for this to sort itself out, we'll talk, we'll look through these comments. Ginger Power, guys, let me know in the chat. Actually, um. <laughs> write yes if you enjoyed uh the, in the chat if you enjoyed this q a and write uh no if you did if someone writes no on uh but write write it in the chat right in the chat uh as we wait for killing this is me trying to take time uh, i'd also to those uh or actually this is a good moment uh actually for me to do this um uh, killing mentioned this a lot i'm actually going to say this seriously if you guys are watching right now and you are into magic already a magician or you're generally thinking to yourself oh my gosh this q a inspired me so much i want to do magic uh in the link in the description or this link here you will find uh our community uh me and my team here hello 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 team uh we run an absolutely stunning uh place that killian was describing quite literally uh, without even being aware uh it's a place that allows you to gently explore and widen yourself in the world of magic. And you get access to so much stuff. And it's 100% free and it's phenomenal. And you should definitely join us and check it out. It's uh, it's an amazing place. I do not know where Killian is. Please come back, Killian. If not, we'll just end it there. Uh, and I'm saying this now because it's a Friday and it's a special day for our community because every single week we, we do uh, weekly jams on our Discord side of our community. That's our chat platform connected to our main community. And uh, we'll literally hop on to that in the next uh, eight-ish minutes. Uh, so if Killian, uh, I'm actually going to message him privately right now to see everything's okay. But if not, are you? Uh, no matter what, we will have our weekly jam. Exactly. Exactly, exactly. Tommy, I'll just bring you up here. Uh move yeah. it to the right. Uh but please let us know in the chat, like if how if you enjoyed uh this uh Q and A, uh please let us know and ho I and uh, even with the small little tech bits, although it took so long to prepare, let us know uh if you enjoyed it and uh, what parts uh you would do in the future, any names you'd like us to bring. We're gonna try and do these hopefully once every few months, uh or whatever we can. It was super fun. Uh, John says it was too short. That's amazing feedback. It's, it's supposed to be an hour just because it was on a Friday. And the reason it was on a Friday, usually, I don't know if we would do it on a Friday. It's just because of the organization with Killian and his timing. Uh, but, uh, next, thank you. Next time we'll try and do it uh, next time. Harry wants a Q&A about manipulation. Harry, we'll bring you on next time, uh, mm -hmm. for a Q and a You better be ready. Uh, I'm really glad you enjoyed it, Charles. Um, okay, Harry's coming to the jam. That's good to hear. Uh, I got a message from Killian, guys. And although he only found two out of four aces, uh, it says it kicked him out of our Zoom somehow, and he cannot get back in. Oh, no. Uh, I do not know what to do. Um, I do not know what to do. Uh, try again. Try again. This meeting is not locked, is it? Or have you locked it? I don't know. Oh, also, Charles, Harry, uh, Harry, Killian originally only had 45 minutes, so we didn't go over. Um, but anyway, I, I do not think Killian's coming back. I do not have him to say goodbye, and I don't know how we're going to do a vanish from him. And it's not going to look as good with Tom and vanishing, but we're going to make Tom and vanish. I uh, haven't rehearsed. I know, Killian's rehearsed. I have no idea what I'm going to do. Killian's rehearsed. Killian! Where are you? What if I just like put an image? I have an idea. I'm a genius. Are you ready, guys? Uh, get, bear with me, okay? Bear with me. Bear me with a sec. Bear with me a second, okay? We're because 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 we're bearing with me a second. I'm gonna put some music. Um. Oh wow! Yeah. Joseph is practicing his own vanity. Yes, you guys can't see that. This is so. Oh, this thing. Okay. Are you ready? We are gonna make Killian O'Connor vanish live. On YouTube, are you got who is ready? Who's ready? Pretend this is like a split screen. 
split screen hello Come in. okay this is so weird um what is going on <coughs> i'm coughing uh i'm dying here uh for instagram people i just got rid of Thomas. uh send me an invite yeah i don't know why it's not working but killian is gonna vanish in three two where the hell is the confetti about to do this i i i'm going crazy right now a uh, three two one Boom, he's gone! Guys, ladies and gentlemen. What? Ladies and gentlemen, uh, thank you, Jelly, so much for tuning in uh, to our Q&A. This was so much fun. Um, I do not know what to say. Uh, thank you so much. No, Jelly, it was, it was great. It was really nice to see you guys join us on YouTube and Instagram. We're going to try doing this again in the future. It was a new style event. Again, when we do something like for the first time like this, there's going to be delays and technical issues and stuff, but I do not know where Killian is, and I don't know why I kicked him off. Uh, he tried to come back, but it's not working. Uh, but Jelly, guys, thank you so much for your time. We're about to go and have an incredible jam. This is lots of preparation. If you're interested in joining our community, you'll find the information in the link in the description. And if you're interested for doing a Q&A with us, uh, send us an email. Uh, you'll find all the information in the society. And uh, talk to us, and we'll, we'll, I'm sure we'll, uh, we'll, we'll figure something out. Guys, again, thank you so much. It was so much fun. It was an amazing. Make sure you subscribe because this channel is about to hit 1,000 subscribers. And we have something coming to YouTube very soon, hopefully, later on in this year that I'm working on. And it's going to be really cool. It's a really big surprise. So we need your help on YouTube. Uh, always a great sense of humor. Thank you so much, Charles. Thank you so much, ARD. Thank you so much, Jen. And the others, over 15 of you who joined on YouTube. And like there was like a bunch of you on Instagram coming in and out. So thank you so much. This was so much fun. I'm going to have to end it on both platforms. Guys, yeah, you've been amazing. On the Discord so we can continue. I've ended on Instagram, but you guys are awesome. Thank you so much. And hopefully see you on our Discord. See you soon. Let's uh, do an outro. Goodbye. Music. Here we go.